Exit 36 Podcast. And we back at it. Got another question here from a subscriber. This person new to hauling containers. They're just in the process of um, signing up. In the process of signing up, I'm not sure if they're signing up with a carrier, they're leasing on to a carrier, or going as a company driver, or they have their own carrier, and they're just signing up with a port. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so what they want to know is, do you need an appointment to go in the port? For the most part, some ports you do at a certain time. Some ports you don't need an appointment. Most of the smaller ports, you don't really need an appointment. But the bigger ones like um, on the APM I deal with, you need an appointment at a certain time of day. So, best thing I could tell you is check with your local port that you're planning to run out of and see do, do they have an appointment system. And you gotta see how the appointment system works. Like, um, is it an all day thing where you need an appointment or it's just certain time of day? Normally the way... The way the ports used to work, you just run in and out as much as you want for the day. You don't need no appointment. If you're going to pick up a loaded container, you just need to provide your container number when you get to the um, check-in. If you're going to pick up an empty, you need to provide a booking number. And a booking might call for different size container so if you have a booking that calls for a high cube and a low and a um, standard or it calls for a 40 or and a, or a 20 and your pickup number that you're going to the customer with requires a 20 you want to let them know for that booking you need a 20 but other than that if you go and just pick up an empty, all you need to do is um, provide them your um, booking number. Now with the appointment system, all that stuff will already be in the system. So whether you make your own appointment or your dispatcher make the appointment or whoever make the appointment for you, they'll put in all the requirements. So once you show up at the port, you scan your Twig badge. Um, Scan your Twit badge, it'll pull up your information to them so they'll know what size container you need, what ship line, etc. Now, when they print out the interchange paper, they're gonna give you that little ticket. You want to double check that, make sure it match up with what you're supposed to get. Sometimes your dispatcher might not give you the booking number, they might just set your appointment till you go to the port they tell you which port to go to be there by your appointment time which is such and such and you just show up and they um print out the ticket and you get what you're supposed to get but always try always ask your dispatcher for the information also that way you have it Ask them for your booking number, the ship line, stuff like that if you're going to get an empty. If you're going to get a load, ask them what's the container number. Because sometimes you might get there and for whatever reason, they're still asking you what, what, what you're supposed to be picking up. I see it happen before. It, it, as a matter of fact, it happened to me this morning when I went to the port to pick up my load. 
when I scanned my Twit badge, they asked me if I were there to just pick up a chassis. I was like, no, nah, I'm here to pick up a um, loaded container. So once I tell him that he look it up in the system, he see which can which um container was there to get. So the appointment system a lot of times it's fast. It's faster because once you get there and scan your twit badge, um they verify you by your um, your fingerprint, the system automatically start processing you. Now, if you don't have an appointment, so for example, if the port don't require an appointment, or if you get there at the time when you don't have to have an appointment, you could just show up, um, once you scan your twit badge, um, scan your fingerprint, then you're in, the, you're in line. When they get to you, they'll ask you what you dare to do. They ask you for your um your scat code, and they'll manually process you. So even the time when you don't need an appointment, I'll still recommend that you set an appointment. Because sometimes when you set the appointment, you get processed quicker at the gate versus when you show up without an appointment. 